Hello, this is Jeff with Vegan Walk, and today we're gonna to cook the roasted lasagna recipe out of the How Not to Die cookbook. My mom's side of the family is Italian, so of course lasagna is a comfort food, but I haven't had it in years because I'm vegan and I don't even know what to do in the kitchen yet. So when I got my hands on the How Not to Die cookbook, I was excited about the roasted lasagna recipe because it looks so delicious. There's no oil, no salt, the savory spice blend, and the nutty parm, both of which are in the simple preparation section of the cookbook and I have separate videos for, they add all the flavor you need. You could even add some mushrooms or broccoli, but we just did it as is. Our friend Ann Landry, who's a vegan chef, she decided she'd help me with this. So without further ado, let's cook this thing. To prepare a lemon for blending, we're going to peel first, break it down to just the pulp of the lemon. So onto our veggies, we're going to be slicing the cauliflower in one quarter inch thick slices vertically. So I'm just gonna start on the outside edge. Don't worry if it falls to pieces there towards the outside. Just work your way into the center. Keep the stem intact until you're finished slicing. Then if you need to, you can trim some pieces of that stem away. Otherwise it helps to hold everything together as you're slicing through the middle. All right quarter inch thick slices. Same with our zucchini, it calls for one eighth inch thick slices. So try to keep it as consistent as possible because everything's gonna roast together. As long as it's, everything is roughly the same size, it'll cook at the same rate. If you have a mandolin, if you happen to, a little bit of a fancier piece of kitchen equipment, but that would make quick work of slicing these vegetables for you. But I would not recommend a mandolin for your cauliflower. That's just gonna turn into a big fat mess. But with the zucchini and the eggplant, you could certainly use one if you have it. Okay. So slicing through the eggplant, just remove the stem. And again, keep, keep them consistently thin. And a nice sharp knife is always your best bet for tackling large amounts of tasks like slicing and chopping. Generally, I would prefer to use unbleached parchment, but this was all I could get my hands on for today. Um, there's also the option to use a sill pad if you happen to have one of those silicone style pan liners, um, anything but aluminum foil. Okay, so our oven is preheated to 425 degrees. The veggies are ready to go in, those beauties. Let the heat transform those into some roasted, wonderfully tasty softened vegetables that'll be part of our finished product. All right, so we're rotating our vegetables halfway through the cooking process just to make sure they cook evenly on both sides. Freshly minced parsley here need a quarter of a cup for our lovely roasted vegetable lasagna. Rough, rough chop should do it. And a little bit of stem in there never matters. It will cook down just like the leaves. So you don't have to get too hung up on trying to separate the stems from the leaves. It's a good healthy quarter of a cup. Okay, we'll deposit our whole grain lasagna noodles into the rapidly boiling water. Get those cooked up and ready to start assembling our lasagna here in a few minutes. So the cauliflower comes out, looks nice and well browned around the edges, which indicates it's roasted to perfection. So about 10 minutes in, we took it out, flipped it over, this is the B side and uh, we've roasted 10 more minutes. It's ready to go. Same for the eggplant and zucchini. Set these aside to cool briefly while we tend to our pasta. Drain off the cooking water from the pasta. We're transferring our roasted cauliflower to the food processor where we'll pulse until finely chopped. Oh. Transfer the finely minced cauliflower to a large bowl where we'll add all of our remaining ingredients. Two tablespoons of 
white miso. It's not stark white, but it is the white variety. I like to use a cookie scoop for wetter ingredients like this that are kind of sticky. And I happen to know this one's two tablespoons, so it's really convenient. I used it for the almond butter earlier as well. It smells awesome. In goes a half a cup of our blended almond milk. Quarter of a cup of nutritional yeast. And quarter of a cup of parsley. One teaspoon of our blended lemon. Quite a flavor kick we're adding there in that little spoonful. Drain the liquid off the beans. Give them a quick rinse. In they go. The cauliflower and the seasonings. Boy, I wish you could smell this aroma. Fabulous. So now to begin the layering process. Starting with a layer of marinara across the bottom of the pan. You don't really have to measure or be specific about it. Just cover the thin layer. Next we go to our noodles. Kind of unattractive, but I want to use the ugly ones on the bottom. It's okay to piece them together if you need to. I like to save some whole pieces, pretty ones, for the top. So if you've got any that are separated, use those on the bottom. All right, in goes our cheesy cauliflower mixture, our white cannellini beans. So we're gonna go ahead and use half of the cauliflower mixture, roughly, just eyeball it, should be fine. And the same with our vegetables, half the veggies layered on next. It's okay to use your fingers if it's for your own home kitchen. Okay, and another layer of marinara. I'm using about a half a cup at a time, but again, you don't really need to measure, just be consistent. So I'm rinsing the noodles just a bit here. They, they sat and stuck together slightly while we were waiting to move forward with the recipe, so there's no harm in just running them back under a little bit of water to be able to separate the pieces apart. Okay, once again, another layer of noodles. If you're piecing it together, no biggie. Just save those whole pieces for your top layer so it looks nice and pretty. Or you can just close your eyes when you eat. It won't matter if it's a mess. It's gonna taste great. So the second half of our cauliflower mixture goes in. And on. Spread that to the corners. Layer up the remaining veggies. Just gather up the parchment and sprinkle the rest of the red bell peppers on. One more sauce. I'm going to make sure you have some left for the very top, so don't overdo with your sauce on this last layer. Final layer of noodles. Okay, so all the sauce now can go on top. Spread that out. I'm using a jarred marinara. You can make your own marinara or your favorite marinara ready-made from the store. Just make sure it's vegan. That little zucchini's trying to escape. <laughs> okay, so here's our nutty parm that we made earlier. I've just transferred it into a shaker. You can just sprinkle it on with a spoon if you like. We're gonna get a nice layer on top. Into the oven we go. Oh, till hot and bubbly, which is, according to Dr. Greger, going to be approximately 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, so our timer has just gone off. The roasted vegetable lasagna has been in the oven for 30 minutes now. We may need to put it back in for just a few more minutes if it's not quite bubbly yet. Wow, that's really beautiful, but I think I want to have it in the heat for about 10 more minutes. So let's pop her back in the oven and wait till she bubbles. Ooh, I'm hungry now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, round two, last 10 minutes. I think we're there. We're gonna take our vegetable lasagna out to cool. I can hear it bubbling from here. All right, the big reveal. This is it, see that? Yep, that's where we want to be.